Hello everybody, my name is Karibra. Welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I didn't really do a lot. I came down that bridge. I looked around here where there's a whole lot of nothing, except for this challenge Yay! cannon. So let's see what weapon it wants to give me and uh, what I bought instead of it that I should have waited like 30 goddamn seconds before I wasted the money. <laughs> um, fuck. What do you, what, what is it that you want me to do? I don't, I, I don't understand. Oh, I think I understand. You want me to come up here, because I have to let the- Okay, I get you now. This is still gonna be tricky as hell, but I get you. I wish it wouldn't reload the main world. I kinda like to just be able to hit press a button to try again, you know? Well, let's give this a run. I know what it wants me to do now. Okay, step one, get the giant statue. Pop out of this pipe, get these on the way by, get that there. Push this block that way. And boom. Nailed it. Nailed it! First motherfucking try, bitches! Y'all can't prove I didn't do it once already. Yeah. Don't rewind that video. <laughs> Hydrant hammer. Okay, glad that I did not upgrade Mario's hammer then, because this might be good. If that's Rabbit Yoshi's actual victory dance, that's way better than the one that he got for just spending a point on his, uh on his experience orbs thing. That dance rules. <laughs> I want to try to find a cleaner version of it somewhere else in the game so that I can also extract that along with Rabid Ouija's little... <laughs> because that's, that's great too. Okay, what's this new hammer I just found for Mario? Hydrant Hammer, it's even a little bit more powerful too. And by more powerful, I mean it just has an against something chance. It's still honey though, and I don't want just honey for Mario. If it was push, I might get it. But it's not, so I'm gonna maintain with what I've got for now. Level six. Great, we're entering the sludge mire. Let's give it a shot. Double bear, oh, I thought that was gonna be combat. I, I didn't see that there weren't black flags. I thought it would take me straight into something. Uh, it's another one of these maze things. I accidented upon the correct path immediately. What is this? What is this? What, what, what is? What is this? Okay, so this is giving me a clue as to what the correct path through is? Or what? I don't, like this is gonna spin it. I'm sure of it. So what's the point? Where am I supposed to be trying to go? Does this lead me to over here? Great, I can push that down and I can go get this little bu- No? Oh, it's just a little- Little trolley boo thing. Spooky swamp. I hear rabbits. Oh, there they are. Aren't they worried about catching something? I'm gonna go ahead and say that rabbits don't really tend to worry about anything ever, honestly. <laughs> and I'm also gonna leave because that sound is starting to get annoying. Um, okay, so I figured out what I think was on the yellow side for now. Is that our, that's not, I thought that was a rare logo on that barrel there. It really looked like it, but not quite. So what's available in the blue? I'm just gonna check out all of these things before I try spinning it at all. Aha, I see. So to get forward, I need to put one of the colors on here that will allow me to walk to the upper left corner. Okay. Well, that probably isn't too hard, but let's check the red side here too and see what see what it might have in store for me. Great. Oh, so if I want to get that treasure too, I also have to switch it because the red isn't good enough. It blocks me off. All right. But this doesn't show where the <sighs> secret risey fence things are. Wow, I cannot speak. Well, I've already, I think, cleared out the right side of its little treasure, and I came from the south, so the only things, I, so the only one that I really need to worry about for now is this left side, and green is not good enough for that. Blue will help me solve this. 
Blue won't betray me. Good old blue. Best of colors. Okay, press that. Ooh. <clears throat> That's interesting. Why does it give me a second switch option over here? Also, I can't get in there until I learn how to smash things, so that sucks. Like, I don't understand. Why would they give me this option? This doesn't do anything aside from waste time. The blue one was the one that I had to use to get out. Uh, I mean, to get out here. And there's nothing else secret over here either, so... I'll just push it back to the blue. Now, are you going to be lucky enough to give me yellow? To just, like, let, let me get out of here? Of course you won't. All right. So it's not blue, it's not yellow. Nope, it's not red either. <clears throat> of course, it just has to be the last one you check in every potential possible... Uh, conceivable... Likely, uh, I'm just trying to think of a synonyms for like Possible right now situation Anything that could be it's gonna be the last thing that it actually is Talking myself around in circles. Let's see how rabid Yoshi wants to fight Hey, his eyes are actually looking in the correct direction. Awesome. That's a heart. What is that? Um I don't like you you are firing bullets from your boobles. God damn it. Fucking really? Really, rabbits? <laughs> Valkyrie. Double barreled baddies. I can't believe that they did this in a Mario game, too. Like, I'm shocked, but somehow I'm not surprised. Valkyries go to great lengths to protect themselves and others. Watch for their team jump. It ends with a crown pound. Don't let them get the drop on you. Literally. Also beware their a, a unique yet very powerful shooting technique. Okay. So they've got like the opposite of Peach's team jump heal. They've got a team jump shockwave. I bet, I bet Yoshi's going to have that when I get Yoshi on my team. Because Yoshi does the ground pound. That's always been a thing that Yoshi can do. Uh, protection, 50% damage reduction, rumble, bang, bounce, and ground pound, 6 cell damage. They also have rumble bangs. Okay. So we got two Valkyries, defeat all. Three, four, I have five, yeah, it's, it's just five Valkyries that I have to deal with. I have my own rumble bangs and a team jump heal, so let's see how it wants to play out. So, what's your guns look like? I gave, I gave him both black guns. Also, that's a little bit gross. In two ways. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick these items and let you watch what happens. He pulls the, the nade out of his little butt. And then he eats it. And also he just sort of He upchucks his gun. It's weird. It's really weird. So the bulldog has a 50% chance of hitting. Also, I wonder if it has a 50% chance of hitting with every bullet or if the just like the salvo as a group has a 50% chance of hitting. Don't do that. Okay. So pipe to the right will take me to more Valkyries. Pipe to the left will take me to these two. There's just three to deal with. Much as I would like to split up and have them just each take care of a side, that seems like an unwise decision. I could send Rabid Yoshi up the right. I could send Peach up the... Maybe it's not an unwise decision. Because Rabid Yoshi has his ability to take shots, and Rabid Peach is a tank. It's a stupid idea, especially going up against new enemies, and especially, especially because I, they have 360 HP. I was really considering just committing to it, but I'm not going to do it this round. I want to fight them for at least one round and see how, uh, see how their turns go. But I can go ahead and do the dash. And then come over here and do the dash too. Yeah, here we go. So I'll set up Rabid Yoshi so that he gets uh, two dashes. 
And then he's in a good position to rumble bang shoot this one. <clears throat> Perfect. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Just like... Yeah. He just hangs off the side. Ah, I love him. Uh, so Peach is not in a position to be able to dash anybody unless I go through the pipe and then she can dash this one. So it might be a good idea to actually have Peach do that. And then I can set her up like maybe here or here-ish to do her shotgun blast. But she can do that completely independent of the other heroes. So I'll have Mario go first. Because I'd like to be able to land on this guy and do the 100 damage jump, but I can't do that because I had Yoshi go away. And if I set Mario in either one of these positions to be able to shoot him with a 100% chance, it's going to be putting him in straight line of sight of one of those other groups of Valkyries, so I might just have to dash with Mario and then set him up here. Before we do that, I, once again, I should have done this first. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that first. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to play it straight the way that I planned to the first time. Have Mario come take a spot right there. Take a standard 50% chance of hitting shot there. I watched him aim that and then aim down at the block. Mario, you dolt. I'll also turn on hero sights. So now he can help whichever side needs it. Uh, Rabbit Yosh, if we have you turn around and shoot this one over here. Look at the size of that grenade, that's insane! It doesn't do that much damage, but it just, it, it hits such a wide area. Like, I shouldn't use it if I'm anywhere nearby. Uh, let's go ahead and try to stone this one and see what the gun, see how the gun behaves. Ooh, my goodness! Okay, so it looks like it just has a really wide range of potential damage because it actually fires off like 10 bullets and any number of those could hit or not. So it's very high risk, but potentially high reward. That was a perfect shot. I just nailed everything and it's stoned. So that Valkyrie's st straight up dead, but I could get as little as like two bullets hit something. I'm also not going to use my outer shell at this point in time because they're probably just going to shoot other targets. But I can use the Scaredy Rabbit and get Mario to react. Staboosh! Krabam! And now you're stuck. Excellent. I'll have Peach come around here, give you a quick little dash kick. And then, if I wanted to go here, that'd be a 100% chance to hit both of you. I mean, to hit either one of you, but not a 100% chance to hit both. If I wanted to do that, I'd have to set you about here. And then, to hit you with my shotgun, it would be blowing away my own cover, but Peach can probably take the hits. Yeah, because the grenade can't hit them both. So go like this. Only hit one of them, blew away all the cover. Actually, I didn't hit either of them. I blew away all the cover. Now I'm just ready to be dead. What do they have? They've got bounce on their rumble bang. So they're very likely to knock Peach away into the sludge. So I'm gonna royal gaze and hopefully I can kill one of them when they move. If they move. Ow. That wasn't great. I was, I was not very happy with that. Ooh, wow, this is getting rude. Well, I can know right away if they're going to trigger their super effect or not by the color of the first shots. So that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and dash the both of you because I don't think the damage goes away, it just gets shared. And then I'll have Rabid Yosh come take refuge back here. 
and use your grenade to straight up kill one and cause the other one a significant amount of damage because it was taking a lot of that damage from the grenade. But that other one had so little HP that that actually worked out for me because you absorbed all the extra damage that it didn't need. Ha ha, eat dicks, Valkyries. Uh, ba -da -da -doom. I wanted to have Mario come through here and bounce off oh. of you. Good, that works. That actually lets me kill that one. And then we come hide back here. That's cool. I like that the, the the Valkyries. I don't think the other, most of the other enemies did it, but when they get stomped on, they get like stuck into the ground. It's nice, nice little details. Gonna war paint you. Cause you some quick damage. Peach could really use a heal, although I guess she's still above above half health. And she did absorb a lot of shots from these. She like she absorbed a critical shot, getting dunked, and then another shot, and she's still above half health. So she can take more shots. He will be fine. Have her come up, do a dash, and then shotgun blast this guy and actually hit her this time, hopefully. Because the alternative is the grenade, and that won't knock either of them off. This won't kill either. The best it could do is flame them, and then all they'll do is run around. But it does do a ton of damage. Yeah. And then past that, yeah, there's nothing I can really do, so... Let's just let him run. I hope that they don't kill Peach. They didn't... Yeah, good, good. Because the only way to do it would be to somehow get like two criticals on her that both knock her into the sludge. Well, that sucked. He bounced on top of a double high piece of cover. Another nice little touch is that they make like armor clinking sounds when they're running. Very nice, very nice. Well, I'm kind of tired of this Valkyrie running away from me. So I'm gonna have Peach chase her down and just finish her ass. Both Mario and Rabid Yoshi together should like almost guarantee kill the other one because I think it's only got like 200 HP left. So blast you straight to hell. Get Beepo back so I can grab these coins. And then you guys. So Mario cannot both dash and bounce on the same enemy, which means I'm gonna need to have Rabid Yosh uh, come and dash you, set up shop right here, so that you're close enough to Mario to allow him to bounce off of you. Now we do this. Do the bounce off Rabid Yosh, come and set you back over here. Excellent. You've taken so much damage now. And then just because I want to see Rabid Yosh do some more things, let's go ahead and shoot her in the kneecaps. Like a lot. So that's actually some really interesting behavior for those machine guns that I was not really expecting. But I like it. Like, I like it more than simply just being like burst fire where you have three bullets because like I said, it, it, it does actually like give you, give you the potential for a wide range of damage. You might survive a lot of shots just based on RNG or you might, you know, you know, or, or we might shred them or it could be the other way around. Like, RNG seems like a bad thing when you're coming to strategy and tactics, but I rather enjoy the aspect of having to deal with a shitty deck, like a, a shitty hand of cards, and just make the best of it. Anyways, this looks like it's gonna be a significantly bigger battle scene here. And the last episode ran a little bit... Mm -hmm long because I had a whole lot of stuff that I had to do with Rabbit Yoshi. 
but trying to cram this one into this episode is going to make it also run long, and I do not have time for that. I apologize. I've got other things that I got to get to today, so I'm gonna have to call this one here, and next time we'll come back and see what this giant map has in store. I'm really being made nervous by looking at it, but I refuse to spoil it for myself and go in now. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember to click that like button down below. Please do consider subscribing if you've not already. Share the series around with anybody else you know who likes this kind of thing or who you think would have a good time with it. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Another uh, fun fact that I discovered, the most viewed video on my entire channel has been the Let's Draw for this series thumbnail. It outdid Undertale stuff, which was 2,000 views for, like, m it was my top thing for a year and a half. So that's awesome! I'm really happy with that! It's unrelated to gameplay, but I, I'm, I'm just I'm just really happy with that. I thought I'd share it. <laughs> Have yourselves a fantastic weekend or whatever day it is that you're watching this. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.